Hello, welcome to Patrice's Future Projects. If you're wondering why I said future, it's because I won a contest, or a giveaway rather, and I follow a crochet channel called Bag O' Day Crochet, and she does these tutorials that are just amazing, and they're so easy to follow along with. Uh, she does lots of Bag O' Day, you know, handbags. She also does clothing. She does uh, infant and children's clothing. She does lots of hats, which is uh, coming up, you know, with the fall and winter season coming up. And she also does a lot of giveaways. In fact, there's one running right now. Uh, it's her birthday, and for her birthday, she wanted to give away a huge giveaway, and it is massive. So this giveaway, the one that I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to unbox it right here on camera. Uh, this one is one of the smaller giveaways. And you'll see how much yarn she gave away in this contest. This one was for the people that, uh, actually, it doesn't apply to me. There's a lot of people that said, you know, I wish you would do a giveaway with no wool. Well, I can do wool. I have no problem with wool. But uh, I did win the giveaway. And this one had probably the most number of uh, comments for any of the giveaways because on this particular one, you could do as many comments as you wanted. Uh, I did six. But there were people that did many more than that. And so there were over 14,000 comments. And I won this giveaway. So I'm just so pleased. I, I was laying down, it was night, and I was laying down, and uh, so I clicked on the giveaway, uh, the announcement one, and I saw in the comments, Patrice is not a common name, but there are more than just me. So I saw, congratulations, Patrice, on your, uh, on your yarn box or something like that. And it's like, okay, I got a little excited. My heart started speeding up a little bit. And it's like, okay, there's more than just me. I'm not the only Patrice in the world. And I wasn't going to look at any more comments. I was going to finish watching the whole video and be surprised if it was me. And so I'm watching and somehow my thumb just scrolled. I don't know how it happened. It did. Anyway, so... Then I saw Patrice's projects, and my heart so do, 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 you know, and I, my smile was so big. I was just so excited, and it was at night. I ended up not sleeping for hours. So anyway, I've been entering her giveaways for two years, and uh, when she was giving away, you know, 50 plus skeins of yarn, you know, like 70 and things like that, uh, year ago, I thought, that's just crazy. And then she quit doing giveaways for a while. But I still followed her channel because her tutorials are just really, really great. Not that I was doing them because I didn't have a bunch of yarn. And I, for some reason, have just not purchased yarn lately. So I was, I kept hoping that she'd do the giveaways again. And I won. Okay, there's my address. Um. So I won this giveaway, <laughs> and look at the size of this. And it's packed full. It is packed all the way full. Let's go ahead and open this up. You know how I'm always, um, not always, but it seems like half my videos, or more than half uh, of the more recent ones, are me getting gifts. So <laughs> here is yet another gift. So... I hope you don't mind, but I will be doing one of Crystal's tutorials. Uh, if it's okay with her, I'm going to ask her permission to uh, do a video of me uh, doing <laughs> kind of like a tutorial on one of hers. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's packed to the top. So... This is so, oh, they're so soft. Okay, this is one I've never even felt these before because I haven't gone yarn shopping in a long time. And once in a while I'll look at, over at Walmart or something like that, or maybe the Michaels around here doesn't have good yarn. I don't know. 
but um, I and this is you know something that hasn't been on the market real long but bamboo is that right side up nope bamboo and this is one when she showed it during the uh, giveaway video I was like oh man I hope I win this because she was she had made a shawl using this and it's a very fine I think it's a three weight and it's so soft and it's kind of smooth it would be a fantastic shawl and there are I think six six of these and 100% bamboo and let me see where the yardage is it's probably tucked way in there oh no here it is 125 yards per skein or ball. So there's six of these. Let me set this off to the side. Ugh. Oh, I can't get it out. It's stuck there. And I just dropped them. Okay. And, sorry. There's, it looks like one of these uh, Tivoli 100% acrylic. It's a really, really pretty gray. Uh, I have so many t-shirts this color. <laughs> but there's only one of this color. However, there's also this pretty blue. And what weight is this? Is it... it looks thin for a four. don't see the weight. Anyway, it looks like, like a, a bit thin for a four. A light weight four, maybe. And then there's three. Okay. All right. I knew that there was one more. So there's these three of the same type of yarn. And these would actually make a really pretty hat or something like that. Maybe if I did a loose type of uh, crochet, I could maybe get a scarf. Um, out of it but that's really pretty and it feels really nice too it's not uh, it's not super nice like this stuff this is just so smooth okay get over those I actually kind of unrolled one so three of these and then here that purple light purple one I hope you can see the color. Maybe like that. Okay. There's three of these, and these are cotton. And I haven't used pure cotton either. I, I just kind of stuck with um, acrylic. Uh, I think I did acrylic wool blend before. Oh, I know I did. On a scarf, and it was really nice. I think that one may have been uh, Lion Brand. I like Lion Brand. But these are brands that I haven't tried before. So th this one is a Lion brand. <laughs> it's a Pima cotton. And this feels really nice for a cotton. And I felt cotton before, cheaper cottons at the store. But this feels really nice and soft. You could actually make like a, a tank type shirt or something. Maybe even a t-shirt type, you know, uh, where it's got small cap sleeves or something. Because there's a lot of cotton in these. There is uh, 186 yards per little skein. And I've never, I've looked at these and adored them so many times, I've never gotten a cake. <laughs> because they run more money, and there's so much yarn in them. And this one is a just, a, this is my colors right here. Um, okay, so this is 53% cotton, 43% pack, whatever that is. And then 4% metallic. But you can't feel the metallic. It, it doesn't feel rough at all. I'm, as, as I was reading it, I'm just like touching it. So it's black and red. And it goes to like a pink white in the middle. And let's see how many yards. Uh, and... If you're wondering why I do this, I can see better close up under my glasses, so uh, a lot. There's a lot anyway. I don't see it. I'm not good at finding stuff like that. 
All right, so we'll just go with there's a lot of yarn here. I could probably do a scarf out of that. I'll find out because I'm going to try it. And this is really pretty. I'm not one for yellow. I was just talking to my sister, I think, or was it my daughter, about yellow. And I'm not a yellow person, but I had a yellow dress years ago as a sundress. And with how dark I can get, and I mean, I'm dark, the yellow really shows up really nicely on my skin. And it has to be the right shade of yellow. And when she was showing this yellow, I thought, that is just a touch lighter than that dress, but it does kind of remind me of that yellow dress. And there's five of these, and these are Etrafil uh, Flora. That's what it says right there. And these are made in Turkey. And Let's see, where does it say all about it? Oh, maybe it does down, nope. 100% ac acrylic? Oh, acrylic. <laughs> it's spelled different. I hope I'm able to show you this. Right there. Acrylic. <laughs> so it's 100% acrylic and she did not open this on camera, but I can open it because that's mine now. Okay, it's smooth, it, it's smooth, but it's not super soft. It feels really nice though, and it's a nice, really tight yarn, so you're not going, you're not going to be getting your hook all uh, between the plies of it. And this one looks like a three weight as well. Um, Two hundred and fifty-one yards per skein. So yeah, it would probably be a three weight. I don't know where to look for these things. Sorry, Crystal, if I'm doing a really crappy unboxing on the box that you sent me, but it takes a 2.5 to 3 millimeter crochet hook or if you're knitting a 3.5 to 4 millimeter knitting needle and that's really pretty that's a pretty yellow I'll probably make something with that just, and just because there's so much of it and because it kind of reminds me of that yellow dress I had okay now here crystal doesn't use threads uh, because it works up so slowly, but my mom was Japanese. She passed away uh, four years ago, something like that, maybe five. And um, she had taught my brother, sister, and I how to crochet, and she did it with thread. And in fact, when I was dusting uh, earlier today, actually I was putting the things back. I dusted yesterday. It takes me a while to get anything done. So I was shaking this out, because this sits on top of the a curio cabinet that I also got from my mom. She made this. Oh, let me try and show you. She did such beautiful, even work. And she taught us using only thread. I didn't even know you could crochet with anything but thread. So when I was a kid, I remember going to the store with her, and the I was like seven maybe, and I already knew how to crochet at seven at, with thread, and she let me pick out um, one of the, I, I don't know what it's called, the things of thread, and I picked a, a red and white gradient, and I loved using that. I, I made several little things with it uh, because it was so special to me. It was my very own. And I didn't even know that you could crochet with anything but thread. So here is a thread. And this is really cool. I'll take one out so you can see it. It, it has a What's it called when it shines like that? Um, 
fluorescence. Uh, like those mylar balloons, you know, that where it shines different colors. Kind of like a moonstone. Not really an opal, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So it has that, and there is a lot in each one of these. So I can't read, it's cut off what it's made of. It's uh, metallic and cotton. So the metallic goes over a cotton thread. And there's three of these, and there's a lot in each. Um, so the thread looks to be about the same as a normal uh, cotton thread. Um, where does it say? Anyway, there's a lot in these. I don't see where it says how many yards. But this is from Ice Yarns. And so you could look, find them at iceyarns.com. But uh, I know I do have some subscribers in other countries. Uh, apparently, they don't ship to all countries. So Crystal is not really going to purchase from them because she wants to show things that, other, that people can buy anywhere. Um, but anyway, there's three of these, and they're really neat, and I'm going to have a lot of fun making something, some things with this. Not sure what I'll make, but, you know, if I went to parties and stuff, uh, you know, a, a, like a, a drape-type, shawl-type, you know what I'm talking about, something real drapey over the shoulders with that, you know, to go to a Christmas party or something would be really, really neat. So, anyway, three of those. And it keeps going. This is the one that my sister was saying. She liked the teal. I like the teal. This is an ice uh, brand yarn as well. This is a four weight. It's a different type of yarn than I, I've used before. It looks, the way that it's uh, wound is different like a rope. Um, not sure what that's called. Any of you that know what this type of yarn is called, please let me know. So it's 100% anti-pilling acrylic and let's see, it doesn't have a crochet hook size but four millimeter uh, needles or US 6. Okay, this says it's a three weight yarn, a light three weight, but I that looks, oh yeah, it is, now I'm feeling it, because see how tightly they're wound together? It's completely different than that. See it? It's more like a rope. I don't know what kind of yarn that's called. Anyone? know what that is, please let me know in the comments down below. I really want to give this to you, Debbie, but there is so much of it and it's so pretty. There's ten of these. No, eight of these. I might be able to share some. Okay, I might share some of those. Not all. Okay, and this is from Gazal. Giza. It's from Giza. And the type of yarn it is, is called Gazal Knitting Club. This is really thin. This is like almost a thread. Would this be considered a thread? Two weight, maybe. I have never crocheted or knitted. Okay. My mom taught us also to knit. My brother, by the way, to finish that story, my brother ended up having the nicest crochet uh, stitches of all three of us when we were young. Uh, granted, he's four years older than me, so I did eventually catch up and get as good or better than he. Okay, that said, I m mostly use yarns now because they do work up faster, but a few years ago, I wanted a little bit more of a vintage style Christmas tree, so I did make some ornaments for it. And normally when I crochet, okay, I, I don't know how to, how to read a pattern. <laughs> I'll admit it out loud, I can't read a pattern. Um, 
I, I think part of it is I don't have the patience. And because my mom didn't teach us that way, uh, my mom could read a pattern. But she didn't teach us that way. She taught us stitches. And so that's all we really knew was how to crochet and how to make doily type things and how to make a granny square. So we knew all that. But we didn't know how to read a pattern. So anyway, with knitting, I did learn how to knit. Uh, but very, very basic. And I only had one pair of knitting needles. I didn't have a lot of yarn. And I, thread was more accessible to me. So I kind of stuck with the crochet. My sister, however, can knit very, very well. But uh, this has... Uh, only I think I mentioned it because I didn't see a crochet hook on here. Was there a crochet hook? Oh, there is. Okay, so 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, which would be a US 2 or 4. Is that a crochet hook or a knitting needle? That looks, I don't know. But uh, 137 yards per skein and these are really small look how tiny this is so that would be like I don't know shawl I'll figure something out because I, I like mauve that's the only kind of pink I will wear in fact I'm wearing a mauve right now just a, a completely different kind okay this is more pink more salmon and I love salmon so I might try and figure out how to use this because I've never used anything like this before and me being me, I just have to try it, especially since I have 10, 10, 137 yards. So I think these, yeah, these are mercerized cotton, 100% mercerized cotton. I wonder if, because I've never made a dish uh, scrubbies, sponges, or not sponges, but cloths and things like that before. That is really fine. I would think the other cotton, this one would be a better one for making uh, kitchen things. But it's got a loose weave. That's got a really, or a uh, loose ply. That's different. Okay. So this, I almost started just opening it up, is, this is really cute too. Oh, this is that one. It, I can't remember what's, what this type of weave is called. It's got it, chain link or something yarn. I've never used this either, but this one is a lot thinner. But see how it's like a chain. And I've wanted to try using this stuff. This one is a little thinner than what I looked at before. This is 100% cotton, or 88% cotton, 12% metallic. This is really pretty. And again, <laughs> this would make a really pretty shawl. But there's five of these. I might be able to make a lightweight little um, like tank top or something. I don't know. I would have to work with this some to find out how it works up. Because it is... A thin yarn is like a three weight, I think. Or does it say made in Turkey? I don't know where you're. Oh, this is a fine two weight. So that is even thinner than the other. So this probably would be considered a thread because that that's not a two weight. If that's a two weight, that's not a two weight. Okay, now I'm really curious. But anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, that's still, that's a lot. Um, let me back you up a little bit and I'll show you. I'll like fix it all up right here real quick and give you a quick shot of what I got. Thank you so much, Crystal. I forgot to mention, while I was on the phone with my daughter, uh, she called during the video, 
and she told me that she had posted online the puppies. Uh, she has some pumskis, and uh, they're about five weeks old right now. I had flown over to Utah uh, right before they were born because they, my daughter and her husband don't have experience uh, whelping puppies, which is uh, when the mother dog gives birth. It's called whelping. And so I flew over because <laughs> I love dogs and my husband won't let me have one. And the father is purebred Pomsky. He was registered. However, they lost his papers. So, uh, and because the mom is purebred Husky and she is papered, uh, I don't think that the three-quarter mix would be a registered dog. I don't think so. However, there is still a lot of value in a Pomsky, and these would still be a Pomsky. They're part Pomeranian, part Husky. That given, <laughs> or that being said, she has three of them available. So if you're in the Utah area, especially like central or northern, um, she lives about 40 minutes from Salt Lake North or south of Salt Lake City. Uh, she has one female and two males available, so I said I'd mention it on my video since I was recording at the time. And this first one, this is the female. Her name is Mocha. And you can tell by the coloring why we named her Mocha. They are still changing in color because Huskies have a tendency to do that. Okay, I already showed Mocha. Here are the boys. The first one is Pike, and he was the biggest of the litter. So he'll be closer to the mom's size, which is a medium size. She's not real big, so, but she's not small. She's not a little lap dog either. Anyway, Pike right here, he is uh, leaning more toward the mother's size. He's got a nice thick coat on him. He, his color hasn't really been changing much. He does have blue eyes, and um, so does Mocha. You can tell in the picture, especially with Mocha, that they have blue eyes like the mother. But the youngest, the youngest, the littlest one, uh, who I I favor Mocha and this little guy, his, his name is Macchiato. He was the runt of the litter, and I think he'll lean more toward the father's size, which is a medium small, not a little toy size. So it would be a great dog if you want a smaller dog but don't want an itty bitty one then you might step on. <laughs> so if you're in the area of them, because I don't think they want to ship them in a plane. That's hard on the puppies. It's expensive too. Um, I mean it can be done but a young pup like that you probably don't want to do it. So if you're willing to travel Oh, or if you're nearby and you're interested in a, one of the puppies, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what we can do. Uh, I would love to see them get some great homes, so let me know. I wanted to say thank you again to all the new subscribers, uh, whether it be through my own channel or through Crystals. Thank you for stopping in. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully I will have a project on you know, a, a crochet project upcoming really soon, but I'm trying to put together some videos. There's a lot of questions regarding uh, the video I have for hand pollinating uh, or pollinating zucchini when you don't have a male flower open at the time. And I ac watched the video. I'll link it up over here. Um, but there's a lot of other questions regarding uh, squash and zucchini and things like that in general. I'm trying to put a video together that answers a lot of questions, definitely not all, and I'm definitely not the expert on it, but I know a lot about it. So I'm trying to put one of those together. Also, I'm a seed saver, and I give away seeds. I'm putting together a video on the seed giveaway for this year. Um, Right now, the video that I'm putting together is like some of the possibilities that I'm saving and how to save some seeds yourself. So it's not just, you know, what I'm going to be giving away. It's also 
how you can save seeds. Uh, I might even include some propagation of plants. That might be a separate video. I've got things, ideas, and things going already, so there will be things like that too, and um, you never know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and then click the bell button for notifications of upcoming videos. They're not all going to be about gifts that are given to me and prizes that I win. There will be projects and lots of useful information on gardening. There's so many people that are, have gotten involved in gardening during this pandemic and it's getting really hard to get seeds. I wish I had thought about this, what's going on in the world when my lettuces were still growing because a lot of the popular lettuces, and I had some of those growing at the time, uh, you can't get seeds for. And I, I wish I had thought about it and let some go to seed so I could have given those to you. But I do have some very useful seeds that I plan to give away, so stay tuned for that and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye